Oh, it's been great, man. Guys are getting in, learning the techniques. Coach is doing a good job of installing it, um, making sure we're all on the same page. So it's been smooth so far. How much can you really tell about, about a team this early? Uh, you can tell how guys work, right? Guys in here doing the best they can to get better, um, mm -hmm. learning the techniques um, in the weight room. So you can tell from from a work, uh, uh, you know, hard work standpoint. And also, since my, since I've been here for what six weeks or something like that, five or six weeks, um, this is the most that I've learned situationally. Like we've really emphasized the situational awareness, and uh, I've, this is probably the most I've learned in my seven year career. How valuable is that this this early? How much can that help? A lot, because once you install it early, right? Once once the fire actually starts to hot, you know, get hot, you understand what you're supposed to do in those situations, and so. It's good, man. You get to learn that early, and so then when it comes up, you're ready and you're prepared. What have you learned about Nicobe Dean since you've been here? Well, one, I, we were in the weight room. Obviously, we started in the weight room, right? Uh, he's very explosive and strong. And then we got into the meeting rooms. He's smart. He knows his stuff. He knows what's going on. Um, he's a good communicator, so he's doing a great job. When you talk about situational football, how much, uh, how much more emphasis do they put on it here than in situations you've been in the past as far as, yeah. you know, getting into it this deeply, this quickly? I mean, you know, I don't want to give too much, but I mean, just in the in the team meetings, like constantly going over it. Every time we have a team meeting, we bring up a situation, and everyone has everyone's up, right? So every, anyone could be asked a question, and anyone's everyone's responsible to understand what's going on in the game. Uh, playing in the box, so you got to understand, you know, gap integrity. So when I came in the league, we were a single high, and so a lot of it was you're, you're attached to a gap. So you got the A gap or the B gap. But if you come in and you're playing split safety, now you got a two gap. So maybe if run goes this way, you got A gap. Run goes that way, you got C gap. So you got to understand how that works. And so just understanding those run fits can be uh, can be challenging, especially if you have never done it before, because you're seeing like this, whereas a safety, you're kind of seeing you know, like that. So your 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 point of view changes, and so it's a little different. You've uh... Obviously, last year with the Bears, you practiced against Justin Fields, and now you're going against Hurts. Like, what kind of things do you notice about Jalen? You know, maybe compared to Justin. I mean, I don't want to get into comparing, but I'll say, you know, he had a he had a ball yesterday. They, you know, tight ends have a ball, and he threw it away from him. Like, I mean, guy breaking same time as he's throwing, and he threw it away. And I thought that was just a great ball placement. Um, to be able to anticipate where the, where the defense is coming from and put it in a tight window, I thought that was impressive. So he's been really good on that standpoint. He's also getting the ball out pretty fast. Um, so, you know, setting up and breaking, you got to really be on your P's and Q's if you're in some type of vision break defense to understand where he is and his intentions. Who's been the uh, main communicator so far on the defensive line? Who has a green dot? Yeah, yeah Nicole, we got the green dot. Yeah. It's, it's pretty young linebacker room. You know, you just lost a couple of veterans, you know, TJ and Ty's here. I mean, how do you – Guys, uh, you know, they're in that room. And, you know, you say one time, I couldn't. Yeah, it's, it's the linebacker room. What have you gotten to know about them? And, and you know, what's your impression of, about that room? I mean, they, they work hard, man. I mean, we we all, we go outside and we do some things like where we uh, measure some things, and whether it's acceleration or top end speed, or if we do like power things, like they really work hard and they really compete, and it's fun. It makes you better. Um, but it's been a lot of fun so far. Do you have any tricks you use for learning new terminology? Uh, no, I mean, I'm a biology major, so memory, memorization is kind of what I do. So I, I don't really use any tricks. I just kind of memorize it. Yeah. As a veteran player, how much how much does spring work help you? Uh, you know, no pads, obviously, and all that kind of stuff. Do you get a lot out of it, especially in a new situation? Yeah, I think the first thing you got to do is learning the new techniques, right? So you may have played a similar coverage in, a, in another defense, but you don't understand exactly the technique that they want you to use in that, say, defense. And so learning the techniques and then actually going on the grass and doing it and repping it and have a coach kind of critique you on what you're doing right and wrong, that's always valuable. And then just being around the guys and learning together. 